Welcome to ASVAB Tutoring. In this video, we will go over 15 questions of chemistry for the HESI A2 test preparation. To practice more, download the HESI test prep from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Question 1. Which of the following is a homogeneous mixture? A. Salt water. B. Sand and water. C. Salad. D. Air. The answer is A. Salt water is a homogeneous mixture. In a homogeneous mixture, the components are uniformly distributed, and the composition is consistent throughout. Salt dissolves completely in water, forming a solution where the salt is evenly distributed. In contrast, sand and water, salad, and air are not completely uniform in composition. Sand and salad have visible separate components, and air, while mostly homogeneous, contains varying amounts of gases and impurities. Question 2. Bumping in distillation, a sudden boiling eruption, can be prevented by a. Using a larger flask b. Adding boiling chips c. Increasing the heating rate d. Lowering the pressure the answer is B. Bumping and distillation can be prevented by adding boiling chips. Boiling chips provide nucleation sites for the formation of vapor bubbles, which helps to promote smooth, consistent boiling and reduces the risk of sudden eruptions. Without these chips, the liquid may boil violently or bump, causing dangerous splashing or spattering. Question 3. The residue left after simple distillation of a solution is a. The most volatile component b. The least volatile component c. A homogeneous mixture d. Chemically altered The answer is b. The residue left after simple distillation of a solution is the least volatile component. During simple distillation, the more volatile component evaporates and is collected as the distillate, while the less volatile component remains in the distillation flask as residue. This residue consists of substances that do not easily vaporize at the boiling point of the solution. Question 4. Which of the following is not a product of fractional distillation of crude oil? A. Gasoline. B. Diesel. C. Asphalt. D. Ethanol. The answer is D. Ethanol is not a product of fractional distillation of crude oil. Fractional distillation separates crude oil into various fractions based on boiling points, producing products like gasoline, diesel, and asphalt. Ethanol is typically produced through fermentation of sugars or synthetic processes not from crude oil. Question 5. Which substance is a pure compound? A. Air. B. Brazes. C. Methanol. D. Rainwater. The answer is C. Methanol is a pure compound. It consists of molecules with a specific chemical formula, CH3OH, and a consistent composition throughout. Air, brass, and rainwater are mixtures or alloys with varying components and are not pure compounds. Question 6. Tyndall effect, where light scatters in a mixture, is observed in a. True solutions. b. Colloids. c. Suspensions. d. All of the above. The answer is b. The Tyndall effect, where light scatters in a mixture, is observed in colloids. In a colloid, the dispersed particles are large enough to scatter light but not large enough to settle out of the mixture. This scattering of light makes the path of the beam visible, distinguishing colloids from true solutions, where no such scattering occurs. Question 7. The separation of immiscible liquids in a mixture is achieved through a filtration b decantation c chromatography d distillation 
The answer is B. Decantation is the process used to separate immiscible liquids in a mixture. This method involves carefully pouring the top layer of liquid into another container, leaving the denser, unmixed liquid behind. Since the liquids do not mix, they form distinct layers, making it easy to separate them by decantation. This technique is commonly used when separating oil from water. Question 8. Mayonnaise, with oil dispersed in water, is a, a, suspension, b, colloid, c, emulsion, d, all of the above. The answer is c. Mayonnaise is an emulsion, which is a type of colloid where tiny droplets of one liquid, oil, are dispersed in another liquid, water, with the help of an emulsifying agent like egg yolk. Emulsions are stable mixtures of two immiscible liquids, unlike suspensions, where particles can eventually settle out. Question 9. Which separation technique utilizes differences in boiling points? A. Filtration. B. Chromatography. C. Distillation. D. Decantation. The answer is C. Distillation is the separation technique that utilizes differences in boiling points. In distillation, a mixture is heated until one component boils and turns into vapor. The vapor is then condensed back into a liquid and collected separately. This method is commonly used to purify liquids or separate components in a mixture based on their different boiling points. Question 10. Which one of the following is not used as a term for the state of matter? A. Liquid. B. Gas. C. Solid. D. Fluid. The answer is D. Fluid is not a specific term for a state of matter, but rather a category that includes both liquids and gases. Liquids and gases can flow and take the shape of their containers, which is why they are collectively referred to as fluids. The specific states of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. Question 11. What is the movement of molecules from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration called? A. Advection. B. Osmosis. C. Diffusion. D. Evaporation. The answer is C. The movement of molecules from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration is called diffusion. Diffusion is a passive process where molecules spread out evenly in a given space, driven by their kinetic energy. It occurs naturally without the need for external energy and is essential for processes like gas exchange in the lungs and nutrient absorption in cells. Question 12. The erratic movement of small particles like pollen in water is an example of a. Active transport. b. Osmosis. c. Convection. d. Brownian motion. The answer is d. Brownian motion refers to the erratic, random movement of small particles, like pollen, when suspended in a fluid, such as water. This movement results from the particles being constantly bombarded by the much smaller molecules of the liquid, which move in all directions due to thermal energy. The phenomenon is a key observation in the study of the kinetic theory of matter. Question 13. What happens to the temperature during melting and boiling happen? A. It increases. B. It decreases. C. It remains constant. D. It fluctuates randomly. The answer is C. During melting and boiling, the temperature remains constant. This is because the energy supplied is used to break the bonds between the molecules, rather than increasing the temperature. In melting, the energy breaks the bonds between solid particles to turn them into a liquid, and in boiling, it breaks the bonds between liquid particles to turn them into gas. Question 14. Which of the following are three states of matter? A. Element, compound, and ion. B. 
solid, liquid, and gas. C. Electron, proton, and neutron. D. Solid, fluid, and plasma. The answer is B. The three states of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. In a solid, particles are tightly packed in a fixed arrangement, in a liquid, they are close but can move past each other, and in a gas, they are far apart and move freely. These states represent the different physical forms that matter can take depending on temperature and pressure. Question 15. The process of changing from a solid to a liquid at its melting point is a. Evaporation. b. Sublimation. c. Fusion. d. Condensation. The answer is c. The process of changing from a solid to a liquid at its melting point is called fusion. Fusion, also known as melting, occurs when a solid absorbs enough energy to break the bonds holding its molecules in a fixed position, allowing them to move freely and form a liquid. This process happens at the substance's specific melting point temperature. To practice more, download the HESI test prep from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.